But that night at the ER, the doctor said to me, you need monoclonal antibody treatment or you're headed for high flow oxygen or ICU bed. At that point, I started crying and I thought I really was leaving Earth. I thought I was leaving. I have two kids, a mother, a boyfriend. I need to be here. The next, they got me out of the ER. My oxygen was hovering 90, 92. And I went to the Regeneron site where this photo went viral of me. And if you look at that photo and you think you're half that sick, get up today and go to a Regeneron site, please. At that time, then, I had a fever of 102.9. I had horrible racking chills and body pain. I was short, short of breath. Um, I got in for the infusion. Within 24 hours, I did miraculous, you know, turnaround. The coughing was barely there. The fever was gone. The pain was gone. Um, I was so relieved because I felt it truly, truly saved my life. I took the treatment at a freestanding ER. Um, I did the IV. Uh, very soon after, uh, the next day, most of my symptoms, body ache, headache, uh, was completely gone. Um, come 40, 36 to 48 hours after the Regeneron, um, basically all my symptoms were gone. It was uh, uh, definitely a big help. When I got to the hospital, I have a very, very good doctor, and he immediately gave me the treatment for five days. After the second day, I, I felt remarkably better to the point that, you know, they're very short of help there. I was able to disconnect myself and go to the bathroom and reconnect myself and come back. So uh, I recommend that everybody take advantage of it because it definitely helps you. Obviously, I'm here at 90. Now, these treatments are, are free of charge to patients. Um, and they do not require a written prescription or written referral from a physician because we do have a standing order from the Surgeon General. We've now in Florida, uh, just with our, we now will have, starting tomorrow morning, we'll have 25 sites throughout the state of Florida. Uh, and since we started these sites, uh, we've seen daily admissions uh, to hospitals for COVID uh, decline dramatically. Uh, we've seen the COVID hospital census statewide declined significantly. In fact, uh, today is the 14th consecutive day uh, that the hospital census statewide has declined. Um, and that would not be happening like it is uh, without uh, having these uh, monoclonal antibody treatments available for people. Uh, we also see a big decline in people that are going to the emergency room for COVID-like illness. So we think that this is something that is uh, uh, very, very, has been very effective for a lot of people. The message has been for us, particularly these last many weeks, COVID is a treatable illness. Uh, you didn't hear as much about these treatments for a long time as, as you should have. Uh, we identified people when hospital admissions started rising. We identified that most of those folks did not even know about monoclonal antibodies, much less take monoclonal antibodies. And so it was not something that people knew. A lot of people would end up getting COVID and they would be basically told to just stay home and hope you don't get really, really sick, uh, sick enough to go to the hospital. Um, and those days are, are over here in Florida and we're sending the message that um, this is something that's treatable and this is something that's been proven to be effective. And again, uh, free of charge for people, not something that obviously you're gonna be required to do. That's your decision about uh, what you wanna do in terms of your treatment. Uh, but it is something that is now more uh, widespread knowledge of and is more uh, readily available for folks. And so again, this will be open from nine to five, uh, seven days a week.